If you've already ran cleanup utilities and your Windows drive is just too small for what you do, you're ready to install some brand new hardware to upgrade your existing drive? Check this out and use this video as your reference. Share this with a friend who needs to know it. Well, Benface got a wonderful solution, actually two, for hooking up an external drive so you can clone it on your system, whether it be for a 2.5 inch solid state drive you're upgrading to, or an M.2 NVMe or M.2 SSD. It's really user friendly and it comes with a USB-A and also USB-C connector built right in. All you do is take off the small cover, insert your new drive right into here, it clips in place right there at the bottom, and then pop your cover back in. You're actually good to go to connect this on here. Since I'm going to be copying what's inside the hard drive of this laptop onto this brand new M.2 NVMe drive, we're going to run a utility that's completely free and one of my favorite disk image software, Disk Genius. And this is actually a portable version that you can keep on your USB. Let's go ahead and run DiskGenius.exe. Yes, on the prompt to run it as administrator. And inside of Disk Genius, you're going to click over to Tools and do a System Migration. The first step is to choose your target disk or where you actually want the files to be transferred to. We're going to choose this big old empty drive right here and then hit OK. And look how much the old drive fits into the new drive. We're going to want to click and drag that out and get all the available space on the new drive. Just click Start and go ahead and click OK. It's basically telling you whatever's on here is about to get wiped out. Now, one of the reasons I love this is it has a hot migration feature, which means you can actually watch the process and have Windows running and copying at the exact same time without having to boot into any special mode. Let's do a hot migration. Now, since the internal drive is actually M.2 and also the external drive is USB, it's actually copying pretty quick. And this is going to finish in about seven minutes. And now with the system fully migrated, we can go ahead and click OK. Now, this laptop's got the primary storage, but we're also going to change out the secondary storage because it's an old spinny disk. And I'd like all speed and minimum power usage possible. We're going to go ahead and replace it with an SSD by Crucial. Since this is a secondary drive, I'm going to go over to Tools and go ahead and Clone Disk. I'm going to copy over the source disk, which is my data drive, click OK, and then choose my target disk, which is this 500 gig drive. And go ahead and click OK. And now let's flip over the laptop, take off all the screws, and let's look underneath the cover. Now before we do anything, we want to disconnect the battery to ensure that there's no voltage going to the motherboard. Let's take that out and set that to the side. Now, we've got our 128 gig hard drive, the old drive here. We're going to take off this one screw, take out 